Hey everybody, this is just a short little video. I already got my, this is the Isheen Wizard, and I already took it apart, um, just the top off and the transmitter and whatnot, simple stuff. I uh, just wanted to show you a couple mods that were very easy to do. Ah, onion rings. Um, number one, VBAT mod, um, just soldered on to, uh, the underside of this VBAT, which goes down to here, goes all the way over to the positive and negative. Joshua Bardwell did the best video I've seen of this. Uh, it was really, really easy. Um, I did solder up the buzzer, just the red to positive. I, I split mine positive, negative on up and down because I suck at soldering. Um, but the big one that I'm doing right now, actually, is completely soft mounting the flight controller so I've taken out the stock uh, the stock little controller which or the stock stock screws which go up from the bottom they go through the distribution board to the standoff and to the flight controller um, I kind of changed that a bit and bought some nylon uh, nylon screws, 25 millimeter nylon screws, and I will be removing this whole boat and putting screws on, uh, putting the screw all the way up through. And I also bought some of these little um, rings. They're just little tiny rings. I can probably put a link down below. Um, got the part number there to look up. And these rings uh, just sit as bushings. And you stack them up, uh, give yourself enough room, and it creates a completely flexible uh, flight controller board. And um, I'm going to finish up here and show you the finished product before I bolt it back together. Uh, so yeah, that's where that is. Hopefully this will cure some of my wobbling. Um, lately when I've been using the tri-props, uh, it feels like something's just kind of wiggling. Uh, while I'm just flying around and I can't figure out why um, I really have no idea why it just feels weird I thought maybe one of my props was loose it was that bad uh, I think it might also have to do with PIDs but you know one thing at a time so we'll, we'll soft mount and then do some PID tuning and hopefully have a very smooth machine this is actually a much easier mod than I thought it was going to be um, you basically take the standoff off and uh, you, you can lift your little board just enough um, doing this one-handed that's how easy it is but you lift your board and you can just reach under they're actually plastic screws or plastic nuts are right here under the power board it's plastic nuts let's see there we go plastic nut um, so it really has no tension and you don't really lose any stability because the nylon is actually strong enough for holding it in place um, These are just plastic nuts. They're holding the uh, standoff uh, Holding the bolts in place. So Realistically, I mean, it's a little bit of strength for but you still have two holding the arms very tight and they don't really wiggle so once you get it out So yeah, once you get the screw out, you just take one of the plastic standoffs that I have sitting around here somewhere. Take a plastic standoff. Uh, slide it through. Just fits right in the hole. You see it goes all the way up in. So you back it out just a little bit, you put your rubber grommet in place. I'm doing this one-handed, if that tells you how easy this is, because I'm holding the camera with the other. But anyway, plastic screw, thread through, pop up, there we go, and see it fits right up through. And then from there you just put two, or I'm sorry, three more of these grommets on top and you can rest your flight board on so I'm doing this one at a time 
And I'll be done in just a second in three, two, one. And here's the completed stack. Um, it's just nylon, a total of five bushings per thing. Um, I've also seen where you can use some plastic surgical tubing, or rubbery surgical tubing. I used the grommets because I bought them for something else. And uh, I may switch it out one day. But I tightened down. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, just a drop of uh, nail polish like I did there. Keeps these from vibrating loose. Um, not that I expect them to ever come loose. But one cool thing about this is that the whole stack is movable. Um, I mean, obviously it's not going to move when you're flying around, but it's almost completely separated from the frame. And that's that's including the power board down below and the uh, flight controller. It's also very tight in there. It's just not touching anything because those nylon is actually in the middle of the, uh, of the thing. So it, it may touch at some point. I just highly doubt it. And even if it does, this whole mod took me about 20 minutes, and I'm kind of impressed with that. Um, it really is just remove the screws, do it one at a time, slide the bushing or slide the nylon pin up with the bushings in place, uh, go on to the next, then add your three, go put your flight controller on, add one more, and there you go. Um, kind of a little bit messy, but got it. Uh, three three grommets on top between the power and the uh, power and the flight controller are perfect so that puts that just lines up the hole and yeah that's about it we'll have a flight coming up soon and y'all stay freaking awesome